John the Beast Mugabe. 36 victories, 36 KOs, and knocks down whatever is in his way. Terry Norris. His trademark has always been speed, but there's firepower as well. Today, they meet live from Tampa. 12 rounds for the WBC World Super Welterweight title. To Mugabe today, we've got one of the marquee names in boxing, not to mention one of the all-time great nicknames. Dan, the man they call the beast is that rarest of fighters. He's a natural, pure puncher, a legitimate one-punch knockout artist. He lost the only two fights of his career in 1986 to marvelous Marvin Hagler when he gave Marvin, I think, the worst beating of his career, and to Dwayne Thomas when John's eye socket was fractured, he says, by a thumb, and he quit. After taking a year off, John Mugabe has scored 12 straight KOs, but against mediocre opposition and off-network TV. He is after one of those electrifying knockouts that will propel him back into the spotlight. Alex, we saw Terry Norris last summer in a title bout against Julian Jackson. He got knocked out in the second round, but no doubt about it, this kid has tons of talent. He absolutely does, and I think then he also wants to reestablish his credibility. He wants to prove that his loss to Jackson was a fluke, that he has the skill as well as the chin to be a world champion. If, if you wanted to test your chin, I don't think uh, you could have picked a better opponent than Terry's pick today at John Mugabe. As you can see, both fighters are in the ring. Let's take a look at the numbers. Mugabe, eight years the senior of Terry Norris. And that's a hard 154 for John Mugabe. He does not make that weight easily. All right, the rules, WBC rules will apply. The 10-point must scoring. No three knockdown, no standing eight. Only the referee can stop the fight. And a fighter cannot be saved by the bell until, unless it is the final round. There's the bell for the beginning of round one. This WBC Super Welterweight Championship bout between Terry Norris and the champion, John the Beast Mugabe. Eddie Eckert is our referee here this afternoon, and terrible Terry Norris. Norris in the all-white trunks on the left of your screen here, John Mugabe on the right with the black stripe. <laughs> Both fighters fighting out of the conventional stance, and Terry Norris wisely not wading right in, testing John Mugabe early. It be behooves Norris to dance and box and use his skills as much as he can. Good left for Norris and Mugabe is staggered. John Mugabe goes down. A left for Terry Norris drops John Mugabe. Mugabe is up and on Queer Street. Oh, this crowd is stunned. John Mugabe dropped his mouthpiece. Here's where Mugabe will need all the experience he has. Can he hang on? Terry Norris closing in on Mugabe, and Mugabe wisely holding on out. Only went down once before in his career against marvelous Marvin Hagler, but he's in much worse trouble here. It was a left from Norris that caught Mugabe flush, and Mugabe does at least appear to be getting his legs back to a degree. If somebody told you there was going to be a knockdown in round one, Dan. Oh, and that right from North. You saw it slip in the legs of Mugabe. And John Mugabe is helpless. Hold it. Hold it. Holding on. Coming up by one minute left in the round. There is no three knockdown rule. And there is no standing eight count. It looked like the referee could have given a standing eight count there, but there is not in the WBC. It is John Mugabe that has a track record of coming out of the blocks in a hurry. But this round is all Terry Norris. And now for Mugabe, it's just a question, can he survive? And we should say that Terry Norris should be careful because he can still win punch. It's two good left hooks for Mugabe, but Norris comes right back. Time, two minutes and 47 seconds 
for the first round. And John Mugabe up against the rope. The Dan, first punch, Alex, that left, and then it was the last one was a right. I started to say during the round, if somebody had told you there was going to be a first round knockout in this fight, who would have ever believed that the victim was going to be John Mugabe? Well, we are the beneficiaries in respect of this early knockout. That's because we're going to bring you next the IBF WBC Junior Welterweight Championship. That from Las Vegas, that's Julio Cesar Chavez and Meldrick Taylor. So we'll be back here to Tampa in a moment. Terry, your first try for a title was a disaster. You're well ahead. You got caught with a punch in the second round. This time it was you that put the power on the opponent. Well, I made sure this time that uh, I wasn't going to be on the other end of this. You know, I, I took uh, Jackson for granted after the first round after I beat him, beat him half to death the first round. You're talking about your fight against Julian Jackson. Julian Jackson, you know, I knew. But then I got careless. I got careless. And then he caught me with a good shot. Let's take a look at the action in round one. I think it started off, Terry, with a left hook. This is early in round one. First minute of the round. There, that left hook on his temple, and his legs were gone at that point. What were you thinking right here? Uh, take him out. Go ahead and take him out. Were you thought, a fearful? Were you respecting his power still at this point, or are you just thinking about getting him out of there? Yeah, I did. I did anticipate that he still had the power because when he when he was throwing, I could feel the power when he was coming over me and riding me down. So I just went on, you know, and tried to put my combination together. This is the second knockdown, Terry. Well, that right there, I set him up with the right hand. Pop, right there. There it is. Right, straight right hand. That clocked him right there. Was there any doubt in your mind when he went down that time that, it was, that it you was were the over. new champion? Yeah, I knew it was over there. I knew, I knew he was going to get up from that shot. That was, that was a perfect right hand. How difficult was you to come back from the, from the mental torture of being stopped in the second round, your first try for a title? How difficult was you to get your confidence back? Actually, it was very hard. You know, uh, I got me a couple of fights, you know. My wife kept pushing me. My manager kept pushing me, telling me, go ahead, do it, do it, you know. Stay in, you know, stay in training, you know. And uh, I stuck with it. Got Congratulations me. to you. Thanks very much, Terry. Let's go back to Dan down at ringside. 